Good morning everybody and this is your Dow Jones day trade setup for today. So uh, big up, big down, tails the upside, tails the downside, um, that tells the story of what's going on, total confusion. Oscillators are grouped nicely to the downside, so uh, I'm cautiously optimistic, but uh, what this is telling me is we have a, I just want to put these two weekly levels in, so you can see that is a zone where the buyers have been coming in. Uh, since, well, most of last year, in fact, uh, sort of, when was that? That was May. So since May last year, this is the area where buyers have been accumulating. So the big question here at the moment, oscillators are sort of grouping quite nicely uh, to the downside. And uh, if we just take some of these other fractals here, take this fractal you can see we are forming diversions but there's diversions to the on the top of the on top of price and then there's diversion on the top on the bottom of price so can't really read much into that but what we want to be looking at at the moment is to see whether this is a base and obviously everything hinges on what happens uh, with Russia Ukraine at the moment so um, yeah, Russia moving into Ukraine and then uh, the Western world starting to apply sanctions. So, you know, let's see what happens. Uh, at the moment, I think uh, until the egos get sorted out, this is pretty much um, the story of the day. So it'll be big up, big down. The trend is down at the moment on your three hour. So that's the way you want to be trading. I don't really want to be trading short down here. I'm looking for pullbacks onto structure before looking for that and yesterday was a, another day where you know, I did give you the, the gap area here so this was holiday trading this and that was the close of Friday so technically that was a weekly gap and you can see straight up to there and it closed so something that you always need to pay attention to especially on holidays look at the previous day where the price closed that is the structure you must pay attention ignore the structure on a holiday uh, at the moment could be a double bottom brewing look at this divergence here so price is low lower low oscillator low high this could very well be start of diversions but i want to see us get above and i'm going to just take the high of yesterday we're going to need to get above 34 121 that would validate a double bottom and break this current trend line but for the moment you are trading with the trend so uh, which basically means you're looking for opportunities to short this right now and the next possible area would be one of these three levels okay so uh, a bullish break is going to be above 34.121 so break retest move up Moving averages are far apart at the moment, so you know, the bias is to the downside. We're looking for this to continue. You should be shorting the rallies right now. Um, 33.973 is the area where I'd be shorting off. And then the other one is 33.792. So if we can get anything up in this area, we're looking for a short. And I'd be taking profit at 33.584, to be honest. Uh, you could probably extend it as low as... Um, 33518 we start dropping below this 33 uh, 500 area then uh, then the gloves are off I think then we have a significant fall uh, or significant move to the downside to the next bit of structure but as I said this has been there all year so it's going to be really difficult to to break through without some huge catalyst and uh, unfortunately that catalyst would be war so at the moment it's 15 minute trading guys uh, if you don't have time for 15 minute trading then walk away from the charts don't uh, try and entertain it uh, a lot of people that are working especially in, in Europe South Africa time frame uh, this market opens quite late opens uh, at half past four at the moment so uh, you can always wait uh, half past five area you've start uh, things start settling down and you see which the trend is for the day and you can start getting in on on the trades but uh, 15 minutes yesterday was a bit of a hassle. Got to the structure just above the 155 and then uh, got a nice trade to the downside. So it is starting to consolidate again. So I would be watching these levels. Um, 
33,973. Those are the two areas that be paying attention to for a move to the downside. But bear in mind what I'm saying about uh, your target areas. Your target area is going to be fairly close. So that's 200 points and you'll probably get away with a 100 point um, stop loss. So it's a two to one trade. Okay, anyway, that's kind of my view at the moment. Uh, trade with the trend, trend is down. Uh, wait for the pullback. Uh, look for price action on the levels. And there's lots of uh, you know, different levels that you've got, but wait for inside bars, pin bars, or engulfing bars. And you can see three of them out. Inside bar, pin bar, engulfing bar. See that on structure or off a level, then you want to be in on the trade. Anyway, that's it for me. Hope it helps, and we'll catch up with you uh, tomorrow. Cheers for now.